Marriage. This is general information only, not specific advice. For legal advice on your specific situation, talk to a lawyer. A man and a woman can get married. Two men can get married. And also two women can get married. In order to get married, a person must be at least 18 years old. There are exceptions. For example, if the person was married before and is now widowed or divorced. A 16 or 17 year old can get married, but usually needs the consent of both parents. One parent can give consent if only one parent is alive or the other parent is mentally incapable of giving consent. If the parents are separated, the parent the 16 or 17 year old lives with can give consent. The guardian of a 16 or 17 year old can give consent to the marriage if both parents are deceased mentally incapable of giving consent, or if the 16 or 17 year old does not live with the parents. The Director of Child and Family Services can give consent if the party is over 16 years old and a Child and Family Services Agency or the Director of Child and Family Services has been granted custody. A family court judge can also give consent. You must be mentally capable in order to get married. If there is a person appointed to make decisions for you, such as a committee, you may still be able to get married. You must get written certification from a psychiatrist stating that you have the capacity to get married and that you understand what marriage is and what duties and responsibilities you will have if you marry. The following relatives cannot get married to one another. Brothers and sisters, parents and their children, grandparents and their grandchildren. These marriages are prohibited, even if the relationship is by adoption or by half-blood, the half-blood being brothers and sisters who share only one parent. To get married, both parties must not be currently married. A couple may choose to have a religious ceremony or a non-religious ceremony, also called a civil ceremony. Religious marriage ceremonies must be performed by a person who is authorized and reg registered to do so under the Marriage Act. For example, a priest, a minister, or a rabbi. Civil ceremonies may be performed by marriage commissioners. Lists of marriage commissioners in Winnipeg and in rural Manitoba are available on the Vital Statistics website. The fee is $50 if the marriage commissioner is not a civil servant. Other fees include reasonable travel and related expenses, as agreed to by the parties. The fee is $100 if the marriage commissioner is a civil servant and is performing the ceremony as part of his or her duties. For a religious marriage ceremony, the fees are decided by the church, synagogue, mosque, etc. You need either a license or a bans. You can get a marriage license for both civil and religious ceremonies. Bans are only used for religious ceremonies. For more information about using bans, speak with someone at your place of worship. Marriage licenses cost $125. They are available from a variety of sellers. Check the Vital Statistics website for a list. The couple must go together to buy the license or request the bans. You must buy the license at least 24 hours before the ceremony, but not more than three months before the ceremony. When applying for a marriage license or bans, you must show identification, including proof of age. If either party is divorced, show the divorce certificate or decree absolute. If either party is widowed, show the death certificate or funeral home statement of death. You could also show an obituary clipping from the newspaper or a court order under the Presumption of Death Act declaring that the former spouse is presumed to be dead. At least two credible witnesses are needed to observe the marriage ceremony. The witnesses will sign the statement of marriage form. The officiant will sign and date the certificate of publication of bans or marriage license and send it to Vital Statistics. You will not automatically receive a marriage certificate. If you want your marriage certificate, you must apply to Vital Statistics. 
the fee is $30. If you would like more information about marriage, see the following. The Marriage Act, the Vital Statistics Act, and the Civil Marriage Act, which is a federal law which gives same-sex couples the right to marry.